And you have also mentioned that you ha have your own organization called Hashtag Sanyum Desa. So can you tell us what does it mean and tell us something more about it? Okay. Sanyum Desa in English means smiling village. It means that we hope that everyone in the village, they are happy. They are smiling. It means that they are very happy in everything, economically, education, and healthcare system. And as we can see, Indonesia is a developing country. So we are still struggling to uh, people who's living, those people who's living in the cities and those people who's living in the village. They are very different in education, economy, healthcare, in their dreams, even sometimes they just get stopped because of their stigmatization that they cannot do a lot of things. So seeing that things happen in Indonesia, me and my friends, all of us created this platform for us to give back to the people, to really do something as we are the youth. We want to prove that we are not only study because of ourselves, because only for our future, but we also want to motivate others that they are having the same chances like us. So this uh, platform actually have been doing very great. As example, every time we did a charity, we are sometimes open a library for them, free library with the books or a places for them for their children so that they can read or playing together and motivate each others together. And also we are giving a healthcare check for free, including all the medication. And we also giving a classes with them, like sometimes English classes or like reading classes and also giving a woman Especially, we sometimes like collect all the women there and also all the mothers there to motivate them to give the seminars. Like, they really have to become more open minded to everything because sometimes they just have this stigmatization. If you already can read when you are learning for like elementary school, then that's enough for you. And then you can just go to work to follow someone to work or to go to marry. That's what we don't want. It's always happen in Indonesia. And this, these goals is not only for Indonesia. I believe through this advocacy as an example to the universe also, because I believe it's not only happen in Indonesia as a developing country, but around the world that we also have those people living in villagers, those people with a close mindset that they cannot reach their dreams because they are just stopped because of that stigmatization. Thank you. And I'm not sure if how many people, I'm mean, not sure if people have already told you that they appreciate what you do, but I just wanted to say that whatever you're doing, I truly appreciate that because it's really amazing. I am also a teacher. So wow. it's amazing for me to see young people like you, for example, who, who do not use age as an excuse to influence right. people, to make big change. So I am so amazed by what you're doing, influencing and creating change in your country, which, as what you said, could also influence other countries as well. So that's really, really great. Thank, Thank you. you.